it's been a while since y'all seen that, hasn't it? A good old boosted lobby. I mean, that's cool and all, but before we get started, I want to let you know that I should be streaming in one hour, if I haven't streamed already. And that YouTube channel right there, that's where the stream will be uploaded once it's done from Twitch. So, do me a favor, subscribe to that YouTube channel, and follow me on Twitch. Because then, you can see me live on Twitch, obviously. But if you want to see some past streams, then that's why the second channel is there. But onwards with the video. You'll see that I named this video a match made in hell. In other words, you got two of the worst things a player can ever face. A fully loaded MG3 and a close quarters map that's at night where you can't even see somebody who is clearly and quickly running right behind you. A match made in hell. But what's a match made in heaven? Um, honestly, probably a crossbow and daytime field content with level zero raincoats. Probably. But we're not talking about heaven. Because I believe this entire game is hell for these virtual behind people that we got walking around in front of us. But that's a bit too deep. What's not too deep, however, are these gun emplacements because believe it or not I want to say these things are the entire visual reason as to why this map exists that's what I believe but the phone's ringing maybe I should try to answer it but then again there are tethers up here too
in case you didn't piece together why I wasn't speaking for so long, if you had in headphones, you would have heard A, the guy reloading, B, him running through bushes, and C, me saying to myself, it's go time. Actually, you wouldn't have heard C. You wouldn't have heard C. Only I would have heard C. But regardless, the bushes gave him away and he reloaded. So I knew he was around and I knew he was outside. I had to beat him to outside, but I didn't want to chase him outside. You know what I'm saying? But let's move forward, though. Let's move forward. This is one of those cases, one of those rare cases where accuracy beats precision. I was more on target than he was, but he was firing quicker. Does that make any sense? I mean, there's another video where I say literally, literally that, but nine times out of 10, you would put your money on an MG3 instead of LD5, wouldn't you? Nine times out of 10. This is that one time out of 10 where, I'm gonna say it one more time, accuracy beats precision. I landed more shots on target. He landed more shots near me, but not on target, because obviously the target is me. Anyways, so, he's dead, the first guy's dead, what's next? Well, the tower is off, so I can go up here and attempt to use the detector. And notice how I said, attempt. Because there is one thing that I actually still do like about this game. You don't know how many people are around. I mean, you can know, but in turn, you're going to give away your own location. Case in point, I'm going to hit the detector. And so everybody on the map knows that someone just used the detector. And there's someone else right there in front of me. And I believe I hear him. So in the back of my head, right? In the back of my head, knowing this map and knowing what kind of players come onto the map, I take cover. And I wait. But he does not show up. And I attempt to move a bit closer and take cover behind this rock. And again, he doesn't appear. Then, that very convenient woman's voice comes over the radio. And I say to myself, Well, if he's not coming after me, where is he going after? What is he trying to do? Because he was clearly right near me, but didn't come up here to try to kill me. What is he trying to do? What is he trying to do indeed? The plane flies overhead. Check my resources, and I find... I don't have any fuel. I don't have my exit pass, if you will. What I'm trying to tell you is, if I want to leave, I gotta take the road exit. As in the exit down this road. And we all know how dangerous that can be. Sure, the detector said there's only one person on the map. Sure. But we all know there's a thing called a jammer in the game as well. I don't trust that road exit with $2. But what I do trust is that that radiation grenade is going to kill anybody who goes inside of it and tries to escape with that airdrop. Honestly, guys, I'm so proud of myself. I'm so glad I put, you know, two and two together and got, you know, an airdrop kill. Well, the strat, not the kill, but the strat. Anyways, so now you see me. And I'm just running through here and I'm saying to myself, where is this last guy? Because he's around, right? He's around. And I know that because all the exits still have symbols on them. They're still locked. And it kind of sucks for me because I'm heavy. You feel me? My footsteps are loud and I'm breathing heavy. So I can't hear as much as I would like to, but I realize I got a port.
if you need any further proof that headphones are basically required for you to do well in the game, not play the game, but to do well in the game, I don't know what else to tell you. A deer could have heard me coming from a mile away, but this guy didn't. Why? He wasn't wearing headphones. The vast majority of you all would have heard somebody with an LD5 and an MG3 on a pier right across from you. Hell, even on the ground approaching you. But this guy didn't. Guys, buy headphones. Please. So, I'm going to delete the MG3 and put on the SVU. Right? Pretty good upgrade from, from MG3 to SVU. But something says... Jet, check this blue box, because if you don't, your audience will yell at you. And look what I find. A VSS. So I'm going to deliberately piss some of y'all off, and I'm going to pull on the VSS and, de and delete the LD5. Not delete, but put it in the box. Why do I do that? Simple. The VSS and HPRT are my two favorite weapons in the entire game. And I don't mind getting rid of an LD5. I got plenty of them. But I want a stockpile of VSSs. Why? Because I can. And there you have it, people. There you have it. A match made in hell. But I escaped. And that's not going to be the case for every time you take out an MG3 onto battery. Because remember, there are billions of us on this planet, there is a 100% chance somebody's going to think exactly like you and do the exact same thing that you're doing, and they may be better at it than you are. And that's why I keep playing video games. That's exactly why indeed. I hope you all have enjoyed this one, because that's it. I'll see you next time. Peace.